Hey there fam, welcome to another of my Pokemon theories. So as most of you guys know, there are some strange Pokemon that do not seem to be natural at all. Some are even specified to be made by humans such as Porygon. Others just don't make any sense at all, like how the heck do we have a garbage bag that is alive? Well, stay tuned as I feel I have found the answer. Okay, so as I mentioned before, there are many Pokemon that seem unnatural. We have a garbage bag, some ice cream, a Pokeball, and of course Pokemon that have never existed before, such as Mewtwo, Porygon, and Genesect, who are known as the artificial Pokemon. Alright, so we know that these Pokemon are just the ideas that the creators had, but really, if the Pokemon world was real, how the hell would these Pokemon come into being? For Mewtwo and Genesect, for example, we know that humans were able to bring them to life, but what about Garbodor and Vanillots? There's really no record on how they came to be. I am aware that according to the Pokedex, Trubbish came as a result of a chemical reaction between garbage bags, but that really sounds so random and really with a low probability. So the question becomes, are they really a natural occurrence? I really don't think so. I believe that all these Pokemon are the result of human experimentations. To understand this, we need to take a look at fossil Pokemon. Most fans just know that you have to take the fossil you find, bring it into a lab, and a machine revives it. But it really goes deeper than that. The truth is that you're not reviving a Pokemon, they are giving birth to a brand new one. This machine is known as the Pokemon Producer. And what it actually does, it takes DNA information from the fossil, from there a supercomputer maps it and creates a blueprint of what the actual Pokemon was like. And then the machine grows the Pokemon. I understand being able to grow the Pokemon, but how the hell do you give it life? Thanks to Pokemon Auras, there is a possible answer to explain all of this. The Pokemon producer was actually developed by none other than the Devon Corporation. And for those who don't know, it was in Auras that we learned that all of their advances in technology, they owe it to their research on the use of Infinity Energy. Yes, the bio essence of a Pokemon that was used by AZ to power up the ultimate weapon. But most importantly, AZ was also able to revive his love Floette. According to Mr. Stone, it was his grandpa who founded the company with the idea of using Infinity Energy for the good of humanity and Pokemon. Do you know what this means? The Pokemon producer is most likely their replica of the ultimate weapon. Yeah, but with the sole purpose of bringing Pokemon back to life. This could explain how they are able to revive fossils, using Infinity Energy. But if the Pokemon world is anything like ours, along with the new technology being developed, there is also a series of experiments that come with them to make sure that they work properly. For instance, we humans use lab rats to observe the effects of, let's say, stem cell research. So all the Pokemon like Garbodor, Boltor, Porygon, I believe they are the result of early experimentation of the Pokemon producer. It is very possible that they first experimented on objects and say, for example, they tried to infuse a Pokeball with infinity energy and thus a Boltor was born. Mewtwo could also have come as a result of this technology. It is widely accepted that the lab in Cinnabar Island is independent from the one in the Hoenn region, and that they both independently develop the machines that can revive fossils. However, I will be challenging that with a future theory where I will try to prove that both Silfco and the Devon Corporation are actually the same company. If I am correct, the lab in Cinnabar Island is being provided with research information from the Devon Corporation. What is really interesting about this is the fact that this lab was founded by none other than Mr. Fuji, who we all know is responsible for the birth of Mewtwo. So there you have it fam, that is my crazy theory. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, it is always well appreciated. I also started streaming every Saturday, so make sure to join me whenever you can. Thank you so much for watching and until next time Pokemon fans.